thing to note about Jesus is there were many similar characters across human history who in fact seem to have the same abilities. If you grant on poor evidence or a lack of evidence remarkable abilities for one character, why do you not accept the validity of a great many others? There can be only one! You had Asclepius healed the sick, raised the dead, and was known as the saviour and redeemer. Hercules was born of a divine father and a mortal mother, and was known to be the saviour of the world. Dionysus was literally the son of God, was born of a woman who had not had sex with a man, and was depicted as riding a donkey. He was a travelling teacher who performed miracles and was killed and resurrected, after which he became immortal. Osiris did the same thing. He was born of a virgin, considered to be the first king of the people, the first true king of the people. And then he died, he rose from the grave, and then went to heaven. Osiris's son, Horus, also known as the light of the world, the good shepherd, and the lamb, he was also referred to as the way, the truth, and the life. His symbol was a cross-like symbol. Mithras, Mithras's birthday was celebrated on the 25th of December. His birth was witnessed by local shepherds who brought him gifts. He had 12 disciples, and when he was done on earth, he had a final meal before going to heaven. On Judgment Day, he'll return to pass judgment on the living and the dead, so that the good will go to heaven and the evil will die in fire. They celebrated his day on the Sunday. His followers called themselves brothers, and their leaders called themselves fathers. They had baptism and meal ritual, where symbolic flesh and blood was eaten. Heaven was in the sky, and hell was below. Krishna had a miraculous conception that wise men were able to witness, were able to come to, because they were guided by a star. After he was born, an area ruler tried to find him and have him killed. His parents were warned by a divine messenger. They escaped and were met by shepherds. The boy grew up to be a mediator between God and man. Buddha. Buddha's mother was told by an angel that she would give birth to a holy child destined to be a saviour. As a child he teaches the priests in his temple about religion while his parents look for him. He starts his religious career roughly 30 years of age, and is said to have spoken to 12 disciples on his deathbed. He had a favoured disciple, but also another who was a traitor. He and his followers abstained from wealth and worldly ways to travel, speaking in parables and metaphors, spreading their philosophy. He called himself the Son of Man, he was very often referred to as a master and a prophet, as well as Lord. He healed the sick, cured the blind and deaf, and he walked on water. Apollonius of Tyana came after Jesus, but he performed countless miracles. He was born of a virgin, foretold by an angel. He knew scripture as a child. He was crucified and rose from the dead and appeared to his disciples to prove his power before going to heaven to sit on the right hand of his father. He was also known as the Son of God. There can be only one. 